Okay, this is the bonus part. Um, there's another part where he actually bends his body and laughs. So let's um, let's make that bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this piece here. Duplicate the layer. Get rid of it. I'm going to hide his head for a second. And I'm just going to get rid of all this junk. And get rid of that. Get rid of that. He kind of bends his body back to laugh, so let's see what happens there. Nope. Maybe too much. There. There. And in this case, I'm just going to um, basically put all the stuff in. I'm going to draw it, and then I'll fix it up later on. Uh, I'm having a belly laugh here, so let's get that. It has got really slow. There's one. There's the other hand. This is a really crappy job, folks. For some reason, this computer's got really, really slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab his head here, and I'm going to move it and see that it just temporarily see that it fits into everything because he does laugh and bend back and that looks good so we're going to exit that and we'll fix that later on so we'll come back to his body again and just clean it up Oops. these lines here and then I can come in and just move it around a little bit now programs like draw plus are really good at manipulating points this one is yeah, it's okay I'm really sucking at this drawing now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop Can Studio and fix this drawing. Okay, I'm back. So I've fixed up the picture a bit. He's doing a laugh, right? So um, here's the original. Oops. So I don't, I'm not going to apply the transform to the head, I'm going to put it back where it was. And um, I'm just going to make one more mouth, which is a smiling mouth. And um, just create a new raster layer. And let's just make a mouth, smiling mouth. Change this to, say, five.
And that's a smiling mouth. Right. So now we're gonna export those guys out. I'm gonna export out the new body. And let's do the bonus bonus animation. I'll see you back in Anime Studio. Okay, for now for the bonus um, part, we're just gonna do this a little bit here. Um, so let's hear what it is. I don't know if she's racist, but I'm not saying she's racist. Uh, just kidding. Last Christmas. Okay, so right here he's going to laugh <clears throat> and he's going to go back to his regular body. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag in his new body in here. And we're going to put it right about here. Where does that go? Didn't go where we wanted to, so we put it down here. And that looks a little bigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the original body, find out all the values here, and then go over here. Oh, and notice that it's changed. So we'll go, go like this. And there you've got that. Now we've got the head moving. So now actually since we did it on the wrong frame, so we're going to undo all that. And we're going to go back to frame zero. And we're going to drop this guy back in again. And we're going to move it down. And then we're going to change the values again. So, we get to about here. And probably want to make that body invisible. So we'll go body 2, visible, not. And we'll come here. We could, put a, we could have put the bodies in a switch. And probably, you know what, that's what we'll do. Put the bodies in the switch. So, create a switch. So we go back to the beginning here. Create a switch. Put our bodies. Put our bodies in there. that up. So that should be good. Then we come back to here. <clears throat> now all this time we're going to do a uh, change of the body and the head and everything. So um, we're going to switch the body to the back one. And the arms are going to be changed. So we don't need any arms at this point. So we're going to click on here and we're going to make them invisible and now his head moves so we're going to go to here and we're going to say add a keyframe and it adds a keyframe in front and what we're going to do is we're going to move his head physically like that <coughs> use the Z key do that and that's pretty good. Now what we need to do is we also need to add another layer, which is the laughing. And I put it into the mouths, and I already did it in. Um, we'll put the smile back in here. And it looks like the smile needs some work here, so we'll just work that. Now if you'd have done this all the beginning, it would have worked perfectly, right? And here's the smile, so that's fine. Now, um, actually, we want to get rid of this because we want to bring in a new, um, a new Papagayo file, which I've done a, just did it a minute ago, and here it is here. And let's just see how that goes now. Just, uh, just kidding. Last Christmas. Perfect. So now we just need to put the laugh in. So we come over here. And we choose smile. That's good. And now we're going to uh, put his head back to where it was. Um, 
So we'll get this piece here and we'll paste. Oops, let's try that again. Like that and we'll paste. And now his head's back, and then we're going to get rid of his body too. We're going to flip the body to the body we like. And something's not right, but let's go back to the head. Now let's go back to the bones. And maybe we should grab this bit here. We need to grab this piece here and put that here too. And that's better. And what we'll do is we'll then we'll make that straight. Actually we will go here. So let's grab this piece here. Grab this guy here and move it there. And now we don't want any head movement, so we'll grab these guys and we'll move them here. Mm, don't want that. That's what we want. That. Let's grab all these guys here. It's a bit of trial and error. Right, so we'll get rid of these guys. Move these guys over. So when the body changes. And now we need an arm. So we come here and make it visible again. That's not the right arm. We want the arm up. And let's just change his head a little bit. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good, and we'll just change his arms to something else. I don't know. There we go. Oh, also his eyes changed. Did I render out his eyes? Let's see. Eyes, 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 eyes. Yep, there's another set of eyes here, so we'll put them in here. And we'll change these again. And I believe those eyes were when he was laughing. So let's go. There. So there's eyes. Three. Oh, where'd they go? That might be a bit of a bug there, or not? Not a bug. It's probably my problem. So. Um, let's go back to the eyes here. Oh, I see. Hold on. So they're not visible there. They were there. So let's just get rid of this invisibility. There we go. And go back here and choose eyes three. They look a little big, don't they? I'm going to scale them down a little. Uh, I'm going to come down to here. Go to I3 at the beginning and just scale them down. Um, probably this might affect it. That didn't affect it. Let's reset that. Reset that. Yeah, maybe it's fine. So come here, change the eyes, and delete 
take that out. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to stop Cam Studio for a second. Okay, we're just finishing up our render here. here. Okay, let's watch that again. Okay, so what we can see, what's one of the great things is we, um, this section here, we had to create a new body, uh, we could reuse the head, and then when we came back, we could reuse some of the arm movements, we used the old, reuse the old body. So in a sense, with animation, if you can try to reuse stuff and just do the stuff that's different, um, then you'll do really good and we can turn around and use this guy somewhere else we can use his head we can just actually just keep changing his arm movements uh, once we've done the mouths we could use that on a different uh, um, a different head if we want um, it really works out well so um, you know I think anime studio is a good way to, to do this um, anime like Domix um, you could use synfig it's a little harder but it is doable so um, good luck I don't know if she's racist, but I'm saying she's racist. Ha 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 ha. Just kidding. Last Christmas.